Hey guys, today we take a look at the mower I used to actually cut grass with. Right here. The Sentinel. It says 12.5 horsepower, but it's actually 12.5. 39 inch cut. I replaced it with a newer motor. Just got this thing ready for mowing season. And did the oil change, did some other stuff, cleaning it. I was just mowing and I was backing up and the brakes went out. So I was like, I didn't have any. I, this thing wasn't stopping, landed it halfway in a ditch. So it, I didn't damage it, but today we'll be working on the brakes, see what we can see about them. And maybe even put this um, grass reflector on it so when it's windy it won't come up in my face but yeah you got to be careful with these bridge and shrapnels these new ones because the oil filter plug right here was a pain in the butt to get off I had to take the motor off I took the motor off to try to get it off hard to come off so I had to I had to weld Perfectly good 10 millimeter socket on there. You see where I grinded it off, but I weld that on there. Took a hammer, and after removing the muffler and the starter, I beat it out, and then I replaced placed it with this one, which is like better steer. It's off that color that used to be on the mud mower. Cleaned it up a little bit. I thought the brakes were just wet from when I cleaned it up But nah, this thing was just sitting in there for a couple of days and it was still still did not stop so We'll take a little look at that Okay, you got the wheel off Rusty axle right there a little bit. This is your brake assembly Brake lever, this is what pulls this pulls this, this pulls this, which tightens up on the little pad. Uh, if you can see right there, it tightens up on that rotor. It's basically your brake is I'm gonna take this off and show you guys. So here's the rotor. Bad thingy. Not that bad. We'll send it now, can't clean it. Here's the inside pad. Average wear. I mean, not really that bad. We'll clean it up and put it back in there. But I think what the main part was back here. All this had grease on there. And that's just not going to stop. So, what you need to do, because it leaks from here a little bit, and then no grass and stuff, you need to clean this off right here. I think if you clean this off, you'll break a whole lot better and then you know of course maybe put your brake bags in a different way backwards for better it will better better performance better wear normal well wear but I mean that's grease right there so you get that this right here slips on with this little pointy thing. This fits right here. Like that, so just, just slides on that. That's it. And then this, of course, keeps it in place. So, yeah, we'll clean this up. Put this back together. Okay, I think I got it. So, we got the tire bike on there. I'm thinking it might work. I guess we'll go out and see, but, um, just take your time when putting this back together, because you really, I, I know I didn't know what I was doing, so, I watch two people on YouTube, but, um, you may have to adjust that bar up there, and just take your time with it, put it back how you found it, and everything should work, I guess we're about to go find out, if it doesn't work, then it, May have not been set right or something. Somebody made a fool with it. I don't know, but I guess we'll go find out. So 
be back in a minute and I'll tell y'all if I got it or not. Well guys, it looks like I'm too good of a mechanic. They work great, but little like you can barely press the brakes. Now come on, I think I got that nut a little too tight. So what we'll do is we'll take the tire back off and tighten there, loosen that bolt. It's just that center bolt that we took out. Loosen that up a little bit. That ought to work good. See, it just takes some time to can't get that bolt too tight or else the brakes are always going to be on or they're going to be easy to break like that and it was hard to shift into another gear because um well the brakes would come on and i mean it was like it was like right here well that's when it, they start to kick in the brake it was like right there I and mean, then i couldn't go no more so a little too tight so we'll take that back off like an adjustment and then go back out and see if that works. Hopefully if we get this down good in time, we'll be able to put that sh um, shooter up for the grass. That'd help a lot. Oh, okay, so, got the brakes fixed. There's still enough play in it, so when I press on it, I can change gears, you know, with the clutch without braking. But still enough, it's still tight enough to where when I press down on it fully, it stops on a dime. So, no more going into a ditch. Long story behind that, but that's what happens when you don't have brakes. You go into ditches. I've already started taking bolts off this bracket. Take this one off. And then we're going to mock up and put on this grass shooter. This actually came off the Craftsman Muddy Mower's deck. I always save them parts. You never know when you might want to use them. I got the two little bolts. I have to bolt those, drill, and make new hose. Let's see if I can get that on there. Well, it's something like that. Getting tired of grass coming up all on Might be able to use that bolt hole right there. That might be it. I have to drill another one. So, hopefully, this will work. I'm hoping this works. I don't like grass coming up on me like that when it's windy. But, yeah, if you do a little recap on the brakes, you just got to take your tire off, which was pretty hard if they're not been taken off. So, a little tip, since you're going to be probably taking the tire off more than once, I'd put some grease on it and lubricate it real good. Because you'll be taking the tire off and on to adjust your brakes how you like them. That's a good tip, but take the tire off. The brake cover off and flip the brake pads, the little brake pads you saw. Flip those. Take your rotor, I guess, and um, sand that down unevenly, like not unevenly, but just in different motion across it. So it's a crisscross pattern that helps it stop better. Put that back on there. Put that back together, and then when you're out there testing it, we <laughs> have a flashlight. Those two bolts right there that attach that brake that attach the and that attaches to that which attaches to the rotor. You can adjust those in and out. Think. Let me see here. The more towards the back they are, the more the more the farther in you have to go to for the brakes to work, and then the farther closer to the motor it is, the less. I think so yeah what really kept this one from working real good was um the brakes the pads were a little worn so I flipped those around and behind the rotor is grease where it may have leaked from your uh, transaxle over years from that where that shaft goes in not too much to worry about nice and worn and grass that that just gets on the pad and it doesn't work as good so now that works good. We'll be moving on to this. I'll finish taking the bracket off. Drill the hose. Bolt it on. And it hopefully should be that easy. I'm hoping that's what it is. Okay, guys. There it is. I just drilled me another hole. And I actually welded the bolts up in there. If you ain't got a welder, you can just buy. We don't even have to buy. Those would work. It'd just be harder. Cause they got the flat head, but um, you can find some other bolts and put in there. Actually, the ones from the 
the original ones from this deck would have worked. They have broke. They're just regular bolts, but. I wear those on so it'd be easier to take on and off if I ever needed to. It moves up and down just like that, regular. Just hoping that it keeps the grass shooting this way and not coming back up at me. So, this is my cotton mower. Uh, I got no idea what year this is. I really haven't seen a lot of them. I don't see them on YouTube a lot. People, you all might say sitting on, well, I've never heard of that company, but Murray eventually buys out this company. I, I really like this mower. It's a nice mower. That's not the original steering wheel. The original steering wheel was actually a piece of junk, how they designed it. and Eventually, it just stripped and you could turn the steering wheel but the column never moved so we went and found this one's off of Murray we had to cut the shaft and bend it in actually that probably might need tightening up well if you just saw that part of the hood just came off that's where I got stuck and actually broke that I need to fix that might melt that back on there in a little bit before I go put it back up but, yep, this is it. This is about as cool as they get when it comes to lawnmowers. It's not the original motor, of course, but works good. Besides the oil plug. Gosh. Of course, the hood breaks because it's plastic. That's one thing I don't like about it, but I keep her going. She gets the grass cut. I can see y'all in my next video. If like this video, subscribe to my channel, there'll be more like this, like this one. See y'all later.